South Korea will begin operating its new eco-friendly bullet train on Tuesday. On the eve of the launch, President Moon Jae-in took a ride on the EMU. Each car propels itself using electricity. Kim Min-ji takes us to the scene. South Korea plans to replace all of its passenger trains with low-carbon models by 2029 as part of efforts to reduce carbon emissions. That's according to President Moon Jae-in, who took a test ride on Monday in the country's first EMU bullet train, or electric multiple unit, his first economy-related on-site visit of 2021. Named KTX EM, an acronym that in Korean means link, it emits only 70 percent of the CO2 pumped out by diesel locomotives, or just 15 percent of that produced by cars. With a maximum speed of 260 kilometers an hour, it will run between Wonju and Gangwon-do province and Chechen and Chungcheongbuk-do province starting Tuesday. An EMU train consists of carriages that are each self-propelled using electricity. This is the first such train in South Korea developed using domestic technology. Moon stressed that railways are the main arteries of economic and social development in the 21st century, noting that the global rail market is expected to grow this year to roughly 220 billion U.S. dollars, with an annual growth rate of 2.9 percent. He vowed efforts to make South Korea a transport infrastructure powerhouse, while at the same time achieving balanced regional growth. 광역 급행 철도 사업에 더욱 속도를 내겠습니다. 이를 통해 전국 주요 도시를 두 시간대로 연결하고 수도권 통근 시간을 30분대로 단축할 것입니다. The president said this year will mark the start of the KTX EM rollout, adding that it represents a combination of the country's digital and green new deal initiative to achieve carbon neutrality. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.